same people. Listen to the unsaved people. I, I've said this before. I said this before, but somebody probably has never heard this, or you probably heard it and you need to hear it again. Listen to me very carefully. I said it again in orientation because it was helpful. Lord, I always put this in my spirit. Listen. Now, once again, if God only promised us what 70 years, three scores and ten. Seventy years. Ten percent of that, you're a child. So let's break that down. So that's 60 years. Listen, I wouldn't let 60 years, if you make it to that point, determine. That short period of time to 60 years compared to eternity is nothing. But I wouldn't let what I did in 60 years, if you make it there, determine my outcome on eternity. Now listen, ain't with two places you can go when your life is all said and done. Heaven or the lake of fire. You got to spend eternity there. So he going to give you 70 years to make a decision. If you make it to 70 years. I mean, we look at the news. A lot of us are checking out your disease or taking over. Listen, I, you ain't got time to procrastinate. You ain't got time to wait. You ain't got that kind of time. Ain't nobody promised you tomorrow. Just because you were able to be in worship service and your health and strength right now don't mean you will be like that in the next 10 minutes. God may be talking to you. He may be saying, on you right now. He have had mercy on you all the way up until this point. Now, you know you're not saved. You know you're not connected to Jesus. You know if you die right now, you're going to bust hell wide open and you're going to burn in eternity because Satan got the best of you. But listen, if that's you, my brother, if that's you, my sister, and you're not saved, don't give Satan that type of victory. If you're not saved, just come as you are. I don't care what you've done. Thank you. 